Ooh, what's up guys? And of course, as always, welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle with your troll, of course, the Skyrender. And the reign of a PU is still going strong, and as you guys can see on my team, we have Mesprits. That's really cool. And we're going against my very good friend, Gara, who is one of those battlers that really, really just niche teams. So he always throws me off. It is whether or not, you know, he throws me off enough that I lose. And more often than not, I'll say that's the that's the point. I mean, that's um, it works. It definitely works. His team is as follows: Primeape, Alolan, Radicate, Weezing, Haunter, uh, Murkrow, and Mr. Mime. I myself is using a stick web team with, of course, um, the Mask Rain together with C Move, Alolan, Radicate, Stealth Rock, Mesprit, um, Life Orb, uh, Mixto Cannon, Flame Orb Throw. And of course, the Haunter, Scarf and Variant of that. So we have two Pokemon together, of course, that are initiated with Eradicate and Haunter. Haunter, very good in our PU, so I'm really looking forward to capitalize on that as always. And as you guys can see, probably on the screen, testing out a bit of a different layer here. Uh, it's whether or not I keep it, I do realize that the bottom row here looks like it's covering a bit too much for my taste. So, you know, we're going to see if we can change that, if that's the case. But anyway, no, what I'll further do here, I'm gonna lead off with my sticky web user, which is of course a mask rain. I don't see a spinner on his team, barring the possible prankster defogger that is Murkro, but outside of that, I should be able to pull this off. And if I get the stick web up, I should be able to do fine. Prime is a threat, but if its speed is whittled down well, then it's not necessarily faster than any of my Pokemon. And that's somewhere down the line where we wanna be at. So without further ado, let's of course go into the match. So we get a pretty niche lead here, that he of course he leads up with the Prime Ape, that's dangerous, Intimidate will raise his uh, attack by 3 by reason it's sharply, so yeah this is scary, though I was kind of hoping he would go for something to kill me over a U-turn, which he does, and that's very good for us because we actually survived that of course, and I actually can retaliate with an Air Slash, not only that though, it shows me to be Life Orb, so it's not a Scarf variant which I was presumably expecting, so, for Serenite, Island, we knock out the Primate, which is a primal threat, haha, <laughs> on the team. So, he's gonna lead with, or not lead, he's gonna bring the Haunter. Now, I feel that I need a Sticky Web still. We still have a few Pokemon that our speed is such a Mr. Mime, so I'm gonna hope he goes for a Sludge Bomb and not a Shadow Ball, which is lucky for us, of course. Sludge Bomb overall made the most sense, uh, because I have two normal types. So, he's gonna, of course, re retrieve his Pokemon and go to his Macro. As I'll go for a Sludge Bomb myself, actually. I know I went for a Shadow Ball, haha. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's not, you know, the Eviolite really is a thing here and he has pranks and ruse and stuff like that so i'm not feeling necessarily that comfortable here so i'm gonna switch out and i'm gonna go to my fro basically expecting him to go for dark pulls or call mind as we see call mind that's like way better uh, and fro will actually get the flame orb activated and you know i really don't expect him to have Bray Bird, and even if it does it won't necessarily hurt me all that much as he decides to switch out here, let's go to the obvious switch in, and that is going to be the gas chamber, which is wheezing. As I go for the easy stone for all, should probably consider the facade. Now, I don't do necessarily that much. While it is a decent chunk for being on a wheezing and resistance and whatnot, it still is far from enough. And uh, I'll actually decide to switch out here because I really don't want to risk it. I'm going to bring a Raxi in my Mesprits because I can definitely force him out, if anything. As it goes with Toxic Spikes, and this. This is dangerous. I mean, I'm not a big fan of that. I don't have a defogger on my team making toxic spikes here to stay, and that's never all right. Now, he's going to switch out to gas chamber. I do believe I actually go to um, go for a stealth rock here, uh, basically to get something on his side to punish him in the long run if we want to do the switch out game, as now I'll take the opportunity to go for a U-turn very quickly. It was either that or Thunder Wave, and I think I definitely went for U-turn in case he decided to go for an attack. Because if it goes for attack, I am faster. If it goes for prank smooth, I am slower. Um, so the U-turn made the most sense, and I can definitely bring my facade breaking Heimdall and facade breaking the guts breaking Mon. And um, I'm actually gonna go for facade though. It does do the neutral high damage, and he actually decided to go for a dark pulse. And as you guys can see, that's nope. That's a nope damage. And facade will just break asunder the Murkrow. I mean, that's you know, it's a violet and all, but you no, know, with the with the flamer boost, yes, things starts to happen. So he goes to his gas chamber, and while Mesprit still is my number one switching, I actually decided against it and just go for the damage as a whole. As you guys can see, that's a forty percent hit, and that's a lot of damage. And the sledge bomb doesn't necessarily hurt me all that much. So I'm in a good spot here. But even with flame orb in mind, I can take another sludge bomb and I can click and bring it down with the facade quite a lot. Lastly, decided to go for knockoff instead, mainly because I really just wanted to 
in case it started to be weird against me, I knew hopefully that um, <laughs> I could actually stall it out. Now it went for a pain split instead, which is way better for me. That means I can lock myself and knock up again and just keep going at it. I, but I don't kill him, surprisingly, and he will retaliate with a sludge bomb. So that was really tough on me. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I get a given opportunity to bring Flossie. And uh, what I can do with this is actually go for a stick web and sack my masquerade. But my opponent, Zero Gara, is way smarter. He goes to his Miss Mime. And here's where I basically like, what are you up to? There was no reason preserving Weezing at all. But when I went for Sick Web, I realized, you know, he could be, he could be something where I need to preserve this. Uh, so I gotta bring Araxi, basically soak any hit as it goes for a copycat. And the copycat will actually take the Sticker Web. And I'm like, oh shit, this, this was not, no. <laughs> Damn it. And so this is, of course, bad. As I actually decided to go for fun away, I was really trying to stop him. But as you guys can see, it is already too late. And I am a tough spot right now. Uh, and he's definitely going to lock me in here. And he's going to bring his fat rat. And I was like, oh shit, this is, this is not good. This is not good at all. Um... I can definitely outspeed this Pokemon, and that's not a factor. What is the factor is that I really can't do too much towards it. I don't want to risk this. I don't want to go for U-turn in case I go for a Sucker Punch. As uh, I'm going to bring, of course, Flossy, get the Intimidate going on. As it goes for Sword Stands, I'm like, oh shit, this is, this is it. <laughs> this is how it ends. And I'm going to go for Bug Buzz. He, of course, going to go for Sucker Punch. But Hustle did intervene, and of course made him miss, and we knock out Eradicate. So Crisis clearly avoided... But at the same time, that was, that was just lucky me. As he brings Ms. Mime here, and now he can lock himself into Bug Buzz, and I realize that, shit, I can't switch in my Mispert on this due to that, because I realize already that this thing now is also Scarfed, making it outspeed my whole team, even the, the Mispert, and this is just the worst. Now, I have a few options. I have Token, for example, which definitely can take a Bug Buzz. So Brum Bum is going to come in. As I decided to go for, I do believe, a Braver just to get the damage going. As it goes to the Soul Licker, and there will be no licking for you as I just go for the safe, very safe Braver. And that's going to KO the Haunter. I mean, it's supposed to. It's supposed to KO anything that comes in. Great Wall Breaker, this Toe Cannon. As um, his last remaining mon is, of course, the Miss Mime. And uh, at this point, I really wanted him to lock himself into a Braver. Uh, or to go for the copycat braver i really was looking forward to see that but he actually does optimize for the better play i actually go to volklik basically what i wanted him to do is kill him so i can bring my lola eradicate and go for a move but it does lock itself into a move or not, i mean dazzling gleam which means that i gotta wrap up the game which is fairly unfortunate because i really want to actually make use of my really cool opening i got but all in all here gg gara that was a very cool wi-fi bell while I wasn't necessarily afraid of losing the Wi-Fi battle, I will say that he kept on fighting with this Mr. Mime, which definitely dented me almost. But yeah, that was a very, very cool game. And quite frankly, I think, even if you think about it, like, the Sword Stance Radicate, it would have started doing stuff, but one thing really stands out here. I, I know it would be the speed size, whether or not it would be Jolly or Adamant. I was Jolly. So I hope I would have been, you know, naturally faster. Uh, and of course, if so, I would have locked myself the C move and wrap up the game. But to some extent here, I gotta say it as it is. That Radicate, that Radicate really could have swept me. It, it had opportunity to pulling that off. I think the smarter play would actually have been going for Miss Brigo for Thunder Wave to be thinking about it. Uh, I never had to make that call. And uh, that's very lucky for me, to be honest, because Gara really pulled all this stuff there. And it almost worked and a definitely very cool game so thank you as much as always gara for the wi-fi bell always a pleasure battling you and if you guys want to battle me make sure to course join me in the discord group down below or follow me on twitter with the same name skyrender or send in the comment section below you are a pussy and we figure something out till then of course as always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next wi-fi battle till then and take care bye